Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Joe Tyler Reefing and my water box 30.2 marine all-in-one build and today we're going to be setting up a bio pellet reactor for my tank to lower the nitrates and uh, I would suggest anyone that has a nano tank you do the same because it will help so I'm gonna take you through the steps and show you what I'm using, and hopefully I help you out. So please stay tuned, thank you so much, and please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. All right everyone, so these are the products that I am choosing to build my bio pellet reactor. I'm using a fluidized reactor, this is the same reactor that I'm using for my Kato reactor. Um, I wanted them to match and um, I had to purchase this one. This is the Somatic UF-1 and uh, this reactor is made in Germany. I really like them. I ran them on my water box 30 or 130.4 and so I just chose to buy a new one. Now this is the reactor itself. So I did take the sponges out, which are right here because your bio pellets will not go through these grooves. And it also comes with your hose fittings, some barbs and a flow regulator. So I will be using these as well. And then last night I measured out 50 milliliters of bio pellets and then soaked them overnight in some salt water along with some Microbacter 7, just to get some bacteria on the bio pellets. Now, two little fishes, NPX Bioplastics is what I'm using. And on the back of it, it recommends to start out using half the recommended dosage, and then you slowly increase it over a two week period. So um, eventually, the reactor will have about 100 milliliters of bio pellets in it, but I am starting off with the 50 milliliters as recommended by Two Little Fishes. And then I am using the CJ Micro Plus pump, which is the same pump that I have on my Kato reactor. You'll also need some half inch tubing, which is right here. And then if you wanna straighten it out, there's a little trick that I use. I throw this in my dryer for about five minutes and then I stretch it so that way you can straighten the tubing out and then form it to however you want. And then in here, I have the 50 milliliters of bio pellets that I've soaked overnight. So we're going to add this to the reactor and what I'm going to do is put everything together and then show you how I'm going to run this on my water box 30.2. So stay tuned. All right, so I have the protein skimmer out of the chamber. Um, I did that so I can fit the pump in that second chamber. And as you can see, the reactor with the bio pellets is right there hanging off the back. So I got a flashlight, so it makes it a little easier to see, but there is the Micra Plus pump. And then I have the hose. It's, it's very long right now, but it's coming out because I'm going to be hooking it up to this middle barb here. And then the return line is gonna be going back into the same chamber as the skimmer. So what you wanna make sure you give enough clearance for that Micra Plus pump down there to clear the skimmer so they don't touch. So I ensured that I did that. And then what the skimmer is gonna do is just um, basically suck up any excess waste that this produces. So I just wanted to give you a little idea of how I'm doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the hosing and then I'm gonna clamp it down and then uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna come back and show you it in action. All right, everybody, so I have the bio pellet reactor hooked up to my 30.2. And as you can see, the pellets are tumbling. However, I do wanna see it tumble more and this is on the highest setting. So I am going to do a little bit more research on some pumps that will fit in 
to this second chamber from the right. But as you can see, the skimmer is going. I have the, this tube right here is hooked up to the CJ Micro Plus. This tube is just uh, inside here so you can see the flow of water coming out. One thing I would like to mention is I did add the sponge to the bottom just to keep the pellets from not falling underneath this little bracket. But I did leave the sponge off the top just to allow for a little more flow. But uh, I don't think that's gonna be enough flow to tumble these pellets. I mean, they are tumbling pretty good, but I would like to see some more tumbling than that. So like I said, I'll do some research on a pump and then get back to everybody. But at least I have it set up so you can see what it looks like. Now, the media reactor did come with four of these clamps. So I'm gonna clamp right here, right here, here and here. And then I'm gonna leave clamps off of here and here, just so that way when I need to add more pellets, I can just take off the hose and unscrew the top as well as if I have to do any maintenance to this, it'll just make it easy. But as you can see, you know, there's no dripping coming out of this thing. It is a little wet in here because, you know, I did take it out and I was messing with all these hoses and stuff. But yeah, the Micro Plus is in the same chamber as the skimmer. It's pumping up water through here, down the middle, down and then up out of this hose into the skimmer chamber. So that's how I have it set up. Please comment below and let me know if you think this is enough flow for my bio pellets. I'd really appreciate all your advice on that. So we'll see how it plays out and uh, I'll let you know in the future how this is going. So please like my video give it a thumbs up. Please comment whether you think that's enough flow for these bio pellets. I'd really appreciate it. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.